Welcome to this week's Not A Dada DIY. Um, this week, what do you think? We should be teaching them about a... Well, let's make a Father's Day present. Father's Day is coming up in just a couple of weeks and dads love DIY. And dads also love grilling. And chilling. And chilling. <laughs> Beer. So, let's make dad something that he can use when he's grilling and chilling. Yeah. I right. think that's a great idea. So, some of the things that we found. So, again, we I have a crafty family, so we've got had a lot of this stuff. This was just in my studio. We had the barn wood in the studio, um, and then you could use your circuit, your cry cut, your cricket? Your cricket. <laughs> your your cricket. cricket. We actually have a silhouette die cutter, so I went ahead and cut out um, a little template here that just says grilling and chilling out of um, just some silhouette material and Megan's got it kind of take it down in here and you can also do the vinyl and have it stick on there and this is just a piece of barn wood there's nothing special about it except for that I did sand it with I started out with 80 grit sandpaper because it was pretty rough and then I went to um, 100 grit and then I finished with 120 so it's nice and smooth now so dad will yeah. get slivers. No slivers and then show them the next thing after I sanded it, I did two um, just nice light coats of lacquer on here. It's um, just because Dad's probably going to put this outside because you're not going to let him hang this in the house, right? No, it's going to go outside. It's going to go outside. <laughs> um, so we want it to be waterproof. We didn't want the wood to get ruined. So um, we just sprayed it with two light coats of lacquer. And then after she's done um, showing you how to put the grill in and chill and paint on here, we'll spray another coat of lacquer over the whole top. So the paint will be waterproof too. All right, take it away. So with the barn wood, we, the only things we had to go get were a set of new grub barbecue tools. These ones um, we got at Wally World Walmart, um, but you can get any set that works for you. I liked the red on there and they're a little bit smaller in size. For and they, these are Weber brands, yeah. so they're a nice brand. They're nice and sturdy. But I liked these because they weren't those monster yeah, giant, they weren't ones. The giant yeah. ones. Some other pieces of equipment that you'll need that we're going to use. I have this Those are lug nuts. Lug nut. And then we have the screw that's going to fit into the lug nut, but then also into the wood so that we can have our setup here. We found these also in the cabinet that you have out in the shop. They're actually from a flea market in North Carolina. You may not have those just laying around the house. So if you wanted to, these are vintage, um, and I did get them in a flea market in North Carolina. I think they were 25 cents a piece at the flea market. Um, but if you don't happen to have vintage um, faucet handles laying around, you can go buy new ones at any hardware, um, store. hardware store. Yeah, you, they come in green, silver, gold, or red usually. Sometimes blue. I saw some blue ones at Home Depot. And you can just buy those. Um, we're just using vintage because we had them. Other things in the hardware store you'll need are the hanging brackets right here that we put on here. We have the... We screwed these in right before we started this video so that we could hang those on here. And then also the chillin' card. The chillin', yes. We have an old vintage, again, also from North Carolina, bottle opener that we're gonna use. Um, it's it's not actually super rusty by any means. It's more painted that way. But. It's, yeah, this is actually, I got this at a flea market as well, but we're not gonna give dad tetanus by mm -hmm. having him open his beer bottle on a rusty thing. <laughs> this is actually new, um, just made to look rusty they put a patina on it and you can get these um at any craft store actually okay some other things that you'll need um acrylic paint is what we're going to use but you can use um a vinyl if you want it on there and waterproof it on however you wanted to do it but we're going to use acrylic paint so we needed some painter's tape to tape our stencil on and then also um, a marker to kind of mark out where you want your hooks to go and that's going to be everything so far. So let's get started. Do you want to paint first or do you want to put the pieces on first? Let's do the paint. Okay. So it can kind of dry. Okay. So she's just using the craft tape or the painter's tape to get the stencil nice and tight on there so that there's not a lot of gaps. I know I like to use frog tape because it comes off clean. Um, I'm just using Artist Loft acrylic blue because I liked the look of the blue and the red together. That's just what I think. You can okay. put your, your, the 
dad in your family likes any other colors, feel free to use them. Um, this I poured a couple minutes ago, so it's already got that layer. Is that the right spot? You just want um, it yeah, to be, I'm using okay. a sponge applicator instead so, of a paintbrush because you can kind of get it in there a little bit better. Um, and then you can just kind of dab. You don't really want a lot of paint on a stencil because it can get underneath of there and then you wouldn't have the clean lines. Now that I've gotten this, we're going to let that dry just a second because if you take it off when it's too wet, it might get a little smear on there. We don't want that. Yeah. Okay. And so we've got, um, how you went ahead and used a felt marker and you measured out where you wanted your um, faucet handles to go. And then, um, do you recommend drilling pilot holes? I do. The pilot hole, especially in this old older barn wood, if you drill that pilot hole, that way you're not going to get any splits or cracks when you when you put your screw in there. Yep. It's a little spot to go. And if you're wondering where to get barn wood, so a lot of places have architectural salvage. So if you live in um, a bigger town, uh, there's usually an architectural salvage you know, store, two or three of them around, and they usually have really nice barn wood in them. Um, or I did see that you, oh, that's beautiful. Um, that's absolutely gorgeous. I did see that you can buy um, barn wood from some Etsy sellers too. I'm just gonna lift this up so you can see what it turned out. It's amazing, yeah. that's beautiful. Chilling. So again, that's just acrylic paint. We're gonna let it dry while we do our screwing in here. So, so again, start down here so we don't get sawdust. Yeah, we've already done the pilot holes and let me get back into screw. So we've already done the pilot holes on here. I'll be your helper. And, oh, did we? <laughs> we need screws for these. These are the ones for this. All right. So, oh, I'll go get them. You're going to have to edit that Yep. <laughs> so while we are waiting for this to dry, I'm just going to walk you through this um, setup we got here. So this is about a two inch. This one we have, it's going to fit quite, ni quite nicely in here. You, you don't have to use the um the hose handles here you don't have to do that if you don't want to but this is just something that we liked and then i'm going to put that through the top here then we have our wing nut here no lug nut this is the lug nut it goes in like that and then we have this much space to go into the wood that's about half an inch or so i'm just going to use a screwdriver really do make all the difference that way you're not barn wood is really tough yeah. yeah it's old and it gets hard with age <clears throat> and the reason that we're using these um lug nuts is to uh, just give a little bit of space between the faucet handle so that these can hang on there nicely you don't have to use lug nuts if you don't happen to have any laying around in your your shop you can use you could just keep the anything. you could use a nut just to keep it on the the handle up on the screw and you can just use the screw itself all right okay look at this i think it's going to be really cute this is a fairly easy quick project that Looks like you spent a lot Looks of time like on it. Looks like you spent a lot of time or that you spent a lot of money on it. But it's going to be really nice and handmade. And Dad is going to love this. I already know where we're going to hang it in our backyard. I already got that idea. And he'll use it often. All right. All right. So, are we able to hang yet? Oh, yeah. We can totally hang on there. Okay. Let's show we just the won't touch the. We just won't touch the paint. Um, these ones do not come with a little string we i had some leather hanging around from a different craft project again just hanging out in my <laughs> closet i had some of the leather hanging out and so i just made little hooks for them i am going to choose the tongs in the middle i think i want them open yep there you go and then... <clears throat> that is really cute I can't believe how fast you put that together. Like less than 10 minutes. Okay. <gasps> that is adorable. Dad is absolutely going to love that. I think it's 
so cute. Hey, thanks for watching everybody.